today we will discuss about windows 10 end of service microsoft has officially announced that windows 10 will reach its end of support on october 14 2025 that means the current version of windows 10 22 h2 will be the final version of windows 10 and will be end of support on october 14 2025 so let us look at the operating system wise how much is the market share of windows operating systems over the years as the statistics shows still windows 10 is used by 64.99 percent of the users worldwide windows 11 30.83 percent still windows 7 users are, are there which are 3% 8.1 is used by 0.42% and the very old the best operating system Windows XP is used by 0.38% and so on so nothing to worry as Windows 10 is going out next year as you can see still Windows 7 users are available so you can use your old machines nothing to worry about so Windows 10 was released on July 29th 2015 and the first official version was 1507 it was launched on July 29 2025 so this current version was out of phase on May 9 2017 so let us look at the versions which all available and got out of service in Windows 10 as I, as I mentioned earlier, version 1507 was launched on July 29, 2015 and over the years, Microsoft provided the consistent updates over the years from past, from 2015 till October 18, 2022. So the final version was 22H2 and, and the end of service is on October 14, 2025. Current version 22H2 end of service October 14, 2025. Let us look at the active users by operating system around the world. Microsoft holds the highest share of desktop and laptop PCs. As of February 2024, Microsoft Windows had 72.717% users worldwide, followed by Mac OS. 15.42 then by Linux 4.03 Chrome OS 2.27 others 6.11 so as you can see Microsoft Windows is the widely and most used operating system due to its user friendly interface let's say your, your Windows 10 is out of service what it means to the users that means that after this date the operating system will no longer receive security updates technical support or software upgrades from Microsoft users are encouraged to upgrade to Windows 11 to ensure their systems remain secure and up-to-date the transition marks a significant shift as Microsoft focus on newer Windows 11 which offers enhanced security better performance and new features designed to meet modern computing needs Modern computing need means nowadays AI is taking over the world. The one of the best feature of Windows 11 is Copilot. It's a generative AI. We will discuss this in the later videos. But nothing to worry about if you are using Windows 10. You can still use Windows 10 after October 14, 2025. However, these are the important considerations to keep in mind. There will be no security updates. Your system will no longer receive security patches, making it more vulnerable to malware, viruses, and other cyber threats. No technical support. Microsoft will not provide technical assistance for any issues you encounter with Windows 10. Software compatibilities. Over time, new software and updates may not be compatible with Windows 10, potentially causing functionality issues. This means the developer concentrates on Windows 11 for the new software development. Windows 10 will be phased out gradually. 
Compliance risk for business using an unsupported operating system can lead to compliance issues, especially if you are handling sensitive data. Nowadays, data is the most important thing in any organization. So security plays a very important role to keep it secure. Compliance issues as technology advances. Older systems may not perform as efficient with new hardware and software. So what's next? While you can continue to use Windows 10, upgrading to Windows 11 is recommended to ensure your system remains secure, supported and compatible with new softwares. As you all know, upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10 will be free. But your hardware should be compatible for upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So if your hardware is not compatible or if you want to check if your hardware is compatible for Windows 11, I will share you the link. You can install it tool and it will scan your hardware and it will tell you whether your hardware is compatible with Windows 11. I will share this link in the description. System requirements for Windows 11. Processor minimum 1 GHz or faster with at least 2 cores on a compatible 64 bit processor or system on chip minimum 4 gb of ram 64 gb of storage system firmware uefi uefi secure boot capable uefi is one of the latest bios type which is more secure compared to the old bios versions so this is the minimum requirement this is the most Most of the old hardware lacks UEFI support in BIOS. That's the reason Windows 11 is forcing users to upgrade their hardware. TPM, Trust Platform Module, almost it will be available in all the hardware. Graphic card, it's optional. And display, it's also optional. Let us see Windows 11 lifecycle policy. The latest is Windows 11. So Windows 11 will be there for a long time. Let us see the available Windows releases. Windows 11 was launched on October 14, 2021 with the version 21H2, then so on 22H2, 23H3, 24H2. The latest is 24H2 that got rolled on October 1st, 2024. But please keep in, keep in mind if your hardware is not upgrading or it's not capable it's not compatible with windows 11 nothing to worry about please comment on comment section i will explain what to do with your old hardware please don't discard the hardware you can still use it for a long time please let me know if you like this video or any questions thank you for watching thank you